Idris Elba, one of the UK's most respected actors, a Golden Globe winner, king of both TV and silver screen. But did you know Big Driss has had one foot in the music scene since the late 80s? And in early 2022, he announced he wanted to lean away from acting and focus on his music career. So what kind of music does he make? To be honest, that's a difficult question to answer because Big Idris has tried his hand at a lot of things. I'm an actor, writer, director, DJ, influencer, producer, rapper, comedian, kickboxer. So I'm pretty sure I can make little frothy coffees, all right? You be the customer, I'll be Idris Elba. The 49-year-old is an all-round entertainer, but he's probably most well-known musically as an internationally renowned DJ dropping and creating house bangers that get the dance floor filled. As well as his DJing, he's a talented producer that's worked with the likes of Jay-Z and a half-decent vocalist, even appearing on a track with Sir Paul McCartney in 2021. The man can do just about everything, and obviously in his time, he's done a little bit of rap too, and that's what we're gonna look at in this video. We're gonna rate his flow, his lyricism, and his listenability each out of 10, and then give him an overall rating out of 30. And this rating is gonna place him on the brand new ride celebrity rap leaderboard thing. Basically, we're gonna make this into a series looking at celebrities who are famous for something else, but have also done a little bit of rapping, and then see who the best celebrity rapper is by rating their flow, lyricism, and listenability. And Idris is gonna kick us off, as voted on by you. So, if you haven't subscribed already, get subscribed now. It makes me happy, it will make you happy. I swear to God, even for a little bit, it's your good deed for the day, innit? If you're already subscribed, I appreciate it so much. You're all absolute proper legends. Um, let's crack on with the video. Fun fact, Big Idris has been making cameos in rap videos since the early 2000s. And when I say cameos, he actually acted in quite a few of them as well. This was his first real connection to the rap game, appearing in Fat Joe's video back in 2002. Other than that, Idris has been DJing in clubs around London since the early 90s, putting that career on pause after he landed a breakout role as Stringer in The Wire in 2002. His first foray into rap came four years later, in 2006, he dropped a four track EP called Big Man. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough to find anything actually online about this album. Um, there's one CD for sale on Discogs for 200 pound, which is mental. Uh, and you can see the track list on there, so I guess that's helpful. However, as far as actual audio goes, I could only find one track. It was randomly uploaded by a channel called moviereport.com seven years ago. So, um, big up moviereport.com, I guess. The CD is listed as reggae on Discogs, but this track, called Johnny Was, is a straight up rap banger with soulful American flavor. Um, beg the YouTube gods that copyright doesn't strike this down. Have a listen. Yeah, yeah, listen. In 1994, young Johnny pushing that raw, selling that more. Bills in the pharmacy store, still on parole for some thing before. Not a worry to Johnny, this was his life and he wasn't sorry. Not afraid, not for me, neither. Underachiever, but ambition so fierce, kind of hard to please. Hence the reason I'm standing there with Johnny in a deep argument with some Greeks, man, to call the parliament. It's pretty good. In it. it makes me sad that I genuinely couldn't find the other three tracks anywhere on the internet and um, I probably just not looked hard enough but if you have access to this project if you have access to these tracks or even the CD that you're willing to uh, send me for less than 200 pound let me know in the comments or drop some links in the comments or whatever just someone find this music for me yeah Idris's next solo music release was in 2010 under the name Driss he dropped a six track EP this time called High Class Problems Volume 1 there's no rapping on this one it's all pretty soulful vocals and laid back R&B meets reggae vibes anyway I thought I'd mention it because I found uh, one of Idris's old YouTube channels called Big Driss and it's got under 1k subs and it's got loads of um interesting content on it shall we say uh, some of the stuff's been uploaded uh, and it has dot mov in the title so yeah it's it's clear that idris was probably running this himself and it looks like as much as it's an artist channel it looks like a pretty personal channel and there's some um yeah funny stuff on there i'd like to welcome you say thank you thank you for all my Birthday requests, you guys are so special to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
watched and moved. And uh, well, I wanted to say thank you to you personally. You guys <laughs> made me proud. It is worth checking out though. There's one video of him commentating over this EP, and I'm going to put a snippet in here now just to show you that he can actually really sing. And if this snippet isn't here, if this bit's cut out after this, uh, I've been snared by the Big Driss copyright. First verse of this song was sung in one take. It was the only recording I've ever done of it. I walked into the booth, sung it straight out of my mouth, and that take is the, uh, the one that made the song. It's been a favorite song for a lot of people. They love that song, um, and I'm proud of it. So, please be true. Fill my heart with song and let me sing for Idris did drop a rap track in 2010 though, under the name King Driss this time. He just can't seem to decide what he wants his artist name to be. Is it King Driss? Is it Big Driss? Is it Driss? Is it Idris? I, I just don't know. Bruh. This one features an American rapper called Shadow and it's called Hold On. Idris comes with a double time sound system chatter style flow in this one and again, it's kind of sick. I had no idea that he could spit like this, to be honest. In 2011, Idris dropped another solo track under the name Driss, this time on the Driss Vivo account. It's the only upload on that channel. Big Idris has lots of little YouTube channels. He must have went through a fucking stage of just making loads of them. It's strange, but uh, interesting now that he's such a huge star kind of look back on these anyway it's called private garden and for the most part idris is singing it's a love song but he does drop one smooth rap verse i'm not risking playing this one though because vivo will definitely hit me with a copyright strike um but is vivo still a thing do people still upload via vivo never really understood like what that was all about um can someone explain vivo to me in the comments i don't get it someone please Idris's next rap-ish appearance was a feature on a remix of a Ghanaian group VVVIP single Get In The Picture Selfie in 2014. Again, he's not really rapping on this, it's more of a sound system MC vibe. It's still pretty fucking good though. Again, I, I can't show you, but just go look it up. Jumping on another remix in 2015, this time it was Skepta's shutdown that got the Idris treatment. He opens it up with a verse that makes the tune sound almost old school garage-esque. It's mad how someone's delivery and the way that someone kind of approaches the beat or approaches the song can change the whole tone of the beat like to your ears. The way he uh, deals with it and the way he kind of jumps on it changes how it sounds entirely it's mad i rate it though massively like it's a cool verse jump to 2019 and idris has linked up with wiley stefan don and sean paul for what is arguably his most famous musical output to date boasty idris's verse is his usual chatter meets rapper style and it's as smooth as can be boasty went on to become a platinum selling single and it's without doubt one of the biggest tracks of 2019. Finally in 2021 we are wrapping up Idris's spotty rap career with the most pure rap thing he's ever really done and that is a daily duppy on GRN Daily, one of the UK's biggest freestyle and rap channels on YouTube. The whole thing is basically him flexing about his mad achievements like they're nothing. He comes with a proper laid back almost talking style that kind of just says fuck it i'm rapping because it's fun because i can like he says in the track because he can he's just doing it because you know why not he's good enough yeah he's not forcing it he keeps it cool and charismatic and it comes off well man as i was editing this idris actually appeared on another track by the producers the fanatics uh, with little tj davido and a few other guys and honestly it's one of the favorite verses i've heard from him yet uh, it's another one of his kind of rap meets chatter mc style and it's really smooth and it just goes to show that even to this day he's still putting out verses he can still spit and yeah one of his best yet Bitch, um, idris Elba. Um, idris Elba. Right, let's get into the ratings for Big Driss then. Let's crunch the numbers and see if he comes out on top. He will come out on top because he's the only person on the leaderboard right now. That was the stupidest thing I've ever fucking said. Anyway, let's let's get into it. Bitch, um, Idris Elba. Um, Idris Elba. 
Idris is pretty dynamic, man, when it comes to the flow. I mean, from that sound system chatter thing that he's got down, from jumping on a US hip hop beat and still bringing some British authenticity to it, he really has got quite a range when it comes to his flow and he knows how to um, apply that flow to different places and still sound authentic with whatever he's, you know, jumping on. Even that laid back Daily Duppy, even though there's not really much pace to it, he still delivers it real smooth, real considered. It's gotta be an eight out of 10, I reckon. Bitch, on Idris Elba, on Idris Elba. When it comes to his rap tracks, I wouldn't say Idris is the most lyrical guy in the world. Like the Daily Duppy bars were funny, they were witty, but the rest of his catalog is more about the vibes than the lyrics when he's spitting. However, nothing stands out as cringe or like bad, so uh, I reckon a strong six out of 10 is a fair rating for Idris's lyrics. Bitch, on Idris Elba, on Idris Elba. Honestly, there's not much to say on listenability. The difference between Idris and a lot of other celebs that you're probably gonna see on this series in the future is that Idris is a legit musician, someone who's had a long music career and he's still active. He's just one of those guys that's blessed with talent, not to mention a crazy work ethic and determination to be successful. So listenability, Everything that he's put out has been, at the very least, decent. He's no rap superstar, but he can do it, and he can do it well, so it's gotta be a strong 7 out of 10 on this one as well. So that's an overall score of 21 out of 30 for Big Idris Elba, and I think that is gonna be a really difficult score to beat in the future when we keep going with this series. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna be able to take him, but we'll see soon, really soon, I promise. I hope you liked this one. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the ratings and how you rate Idris Elba as a rapper. And just tell me your thoughts on Big Idris in general because he's a super talented guy and um, yeah, just one of the, like, the best actors to come out of the UK in a long time. The best all around entertainers to come out of the UK in a long, a long time. Um, so hit like if you liked the video and let me know what you think of the series too and who I should be doing next. You've already voted on a few people so there's a few coming but I want to make this a legit series that you can follow and have a bit of fun with. Uh, also, I'm going to start doing this members only content stuff on, it sounds like an OnlyFans thing, doesn't it? But no, it's a new YouTube feature on the top of the channel where you can uh, subscribe to be a member and help out the channel. Uh, it's going to be like £2 a month or something and you can press that and you get access to exclusive members only shit. So it can be, you know, comment badges. Uh, videos and things like that. I'm going to put a lot more stuff in there. So jump on that early, become a member of the Rider Dies and help me keep the channel going and growing. And hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much and I'll see you very soon. I'll see you next time. Uh, if you want to watch one of those videos, that side this time, get it clicked on. It's alcohol free. Don't drink, kids. It's not good for you.